Today we're going to talk about the differences between the Hero 5 Session and the T5E. So, I already did two videos of stabilization. Um, they were strapped to a bike and I showed how stable they can be. Basically, that was the whole point of the video. So, if you haven't seen that video, go back, watch it, check it out. Don't mind my hands. I had to fix a something on my car today and I really didn't. This is all embedded, so I'd have to really scrub it out. But anyways, I'll deal with that later. Just want to point that out so you guys don't think I'm a freak. Anyways, um, let's get into it. So, the pros of the, let's start with the session. Nope, let's start with the five, T5E. The pros, removable battery. So, if this camera dies, we can swap out the battery. Very simple, you can buy a whole bunch of batteries. I think it'll cost you about eight bucks, maybe nine bucks on Amazon. Take the battery out, put a new battery in, you're good to go. Uh, assuming you have a large enough um, SD card I have a 64 bit or no I don't have a 64 in here now it's like a 16 gig but I have a 64 gig that I bought for this camera um, that's now in the GoPro so <clears throat> cons um, the con with this is it needs a case, okay? In order to be waterproof, it needs a big, giant case. And when it's in the case, the, the phone, the camera itself becomes actually that much bigger, right? So let's throw in the case real quick. Also, while it is in the case, it gets very, very warm. The camera itself gets warm anyways, regardless. But when it's in the case and it's sealed up, that's why I have this open up, this little piece right here comes off and I did that to allow it to breathe a little bit I was gonna punch holes in it but then I said that doesn't make sense I need two cases one just for outdoor use so when the camera does heat up it doesn't cause all this condensation and fog inside the case because this gets all foggy all around here so <clears throat> <clears throat> con number one is it's not waterproof it needs a case Con number two is max bit rate is about 30,000, 35,000 megabits per second, um, or 35,000 kilobits per second, 35 megabits per second. Um, so that just means a little bit lower video quality, especially at, at high speed when the camera is kind of like moving around fast and you know stabilizing. Also, image stabilization is maxed out at 1080p 60. Any resolution above 1080p 60, you will not be able to put on image stabilization, electronic image stabilization, by the way. It's not optical image stabilization, neither is the session. Optical image stabilization versus image versus electronic means that the actual lens itself is actually kind of floating. It actually moves and it's much better than electronic. Electronic is kind of like an artificial intelligence, more or less where the camera is processing internally to compensate for what it sees and what it wants to, you know, tr it tries to stabilize electronically. Hence, electronic image stabilization, EIS. So, uh, the cons on this are it's bigger, um, it needs a case, it's not waterproof, um, and the audio is absolutely trash. Inside the case, you cannot hear the audio at all, not even a little bit, but if you have it outside the case and you're recording and you're just talking to the camera, it's going to be very low volume, very muddy, it's going to sound horrible. So as far as cons, I would say that's pretty much it. Uh, bad audio, um, it needs a case, it's not waterproof, and that's it. Battery life is really good, I would say... Um, you could say 44 minutes of video will take half a battery away at 1080p 60. Obviously, if you record at a higher resolution, like 10, like 4K, it's going to use up more battery faster. So I can tell you that 1080p 60 will give you about 44 minutes and use half the battery. So figure about 80 minutes at 1080p 60. You can kind of do the math for the rest, okay? Uh, pros built-in uh, quarter-inch tripod mount, so you can just mount this right to a tripod. You don't need any special casings or adapters or anything like that. 
So the camera as is can go right to a tripod. You can vlog with it, put it on a selfie stick, whatever. Um, that's a really cool feature. So I would say that's a con. The removable battery is a super mega, mega, I'm sorry, that's a pro. The removable battery is a pro. Um, and that's kind of it. It does have an app that you can connect to your phone. But good luck trying to get that connected because it doesn't really like to connect. And you'll have a very hard time connecting it to the app. It just sucks. In other words, it doesn't have an app. It just, it's useless. Just don't even bother. Um, if you do get it connected, it'll stall out. You won't see the video. It'll take, you know, like five. Sometimes you'll have to restart the app even just to see the video. Okay. Pros on the session. Obviously, you're looking at it. One is the size, and that's the reason why I bought it. So I bought it originally at, I bought this twice, okay? So the first one that I did the video stabilization video with, um, the video stabilization video, video stabilization video, video, video. How many times am I gonna say video? So I bought it at Best Buy, and then I returned it simply because it was $300. And I personally didn't see a reason to have a $300 action cam. It just kind of didn't really make sense to me. I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna be like super action guy like that. I just kind of want to have an action camera, but not for $300. This one, oh, pro. Uh, gear, uh, gearbest.com cost me $115. And right now I think you can get it for $105. So price is a pro. This wins in the price factor. It wins in the removable battery. Uh, cons on this, we'll go with cons real quick, is no removable battery. So when this thing dies, you really need a high output, um, a, like a 2.5 amps or even a 3 amp or a 3.1 amp, which would be the GoPro Super Supercharger that you can buy additionally is 3.1 amp. And 3.1 amp, and I can tell you from like vaping, you know, which you deal with like... 4400 milliamp hours or 2500 milliamp hours so to charge like a vaping mod that's 4400 milliamp hours on a 2.4 amp output adapter a wall charger or a car charger is going to take you probably two hours for 4,400 milliamps. This is not 4,400 milliamps. So if you plug this in after it dies, after about a half hour, it'll be usable again. You probably have, I would say better than half a battery. But the point is there is no removable battery. And therefore, if it dies, you gotta plug it in and charge it. Or you can get a separate power bank and kind of run around the power bank with extended cord and kind of feed it while you're recording at the same time. But that's a little bit, you know, of a hindrance so pros form factor its size um the the way it connects to the app and you have an instantaneous viewfinder not only do you have a instantaneous viewfinder you keep you got sliders galore you can change the saturation you can change the um the brightness the contrast the iso you can change your your resolution right on the fly 4k 30 2.7k 60 uh, image stabilization on you can change your field of view all from the app instantaneously so the way it connects to the app is absolutely flawless and the biggest pro for me is that it's waterproof and its size so the size of the actual camera how discreet the camera is um, is amazing like for me if I was to go to the gym and just kind of have this like on a wrist strap it's way more discreet I think or even under my wrist to hide it even a little bit better and get like that real POV real cool POV footage like picking up a dumbbell or whatever bench presses whatever one day when I actually make it to the gym that'll be cool um, this one here can't do that you have to put it into the case in order to you know connect it to any type of mount and then once you put the mount on it it's gonna double the length overall so now you're looking at something like that right um, getting it in and out of the case it's not that you know I can't really call it a con but you know it's a case you gotta work with it although the case on this just slides in clip it down you're done clip it up you're done so you know, as far as the case that comes with this, it's absolutely amazing. It just slides in and out. 
Um, one click, it's locked in there. It's not going anywhere. Um, love it. So I love the size. I love the form factor. You can also record higher resolution. Um, you can record higher resolutions with image stabilization beyond 1080p 60. I don't know if I mentioned it, but just in case I didn't, max resolution with image stabilization is 1080p 60 on the T5e. Anything above that, it will not produce image stabilization. It won't be available. It does record 4K 30. It is a true 4K 30. It is not uh, interpolated or interlaced or anything like that. It is 4K 30. It does ship 4K 30 and it looks great. Uh, Bitrate, like I mentioned, is lower on this than it is this, which means higher you know, video quality coming out of the session as opposed to the T5e. But for somebody with an untrained eye, you probably won't notice less or, or the more pixelation. Um, but this is going to have less pixelation. This has more of a little bit, it's kind of brighter and like saturates colors a little bit better. Just straight out of the box. This one here, you're going to have more of a dull, flat image when you're recording. And a lot of people, a lot of videos, you'll see a lot of people mentioning like, oh, well, it's... You know, the GoPro kind of looks a little dull, a little muddy, but you can change that in the app. So in the app, there's something called ProTune, and you can change your saturation, you can change your contrast, your brightness, you can kind of change all that. Plus, you can change it in, in um, uh, like, basically production anyways, when you're editing the video. You can add all, you know, you can change your color, you know, raise the color and all that stuff. So, form factor. Um, higher resolutions with image stabilization, one touch recording. It also has audio, um, voice control. Uh, GoPro, take a photo. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, take a photo. Boom. So you can, you know, linear, uh, which makes it like a regular square photo as opposed to, um, and of course, 10,000 photos at 64 megabyte, um, 64 gigabyte SD card would give you about 10,000 photos. So photo quality is, I believe, 10 megapixels. If I'm wrong, I'll put that in the description or the comments, um, but I think it's 10 megapixels. This one is going to be 10 or 12. They're pretty much the same when it comes to, to video quality. Go look at a, any other review video and you'll see side-by-side -side comparisons and they're pretty much the same. Or you go back and check out my stabilization videos where I have this one connected to my bike and I got this one connected to my bike going down the same route and you'll see the video quality as far as image stabilization and they're pretty comparable. I can't really say that this one records better than this one. This has a lower bit rate but again it's not low enough to the point where it's going to be like awful video okay so the reason why i have this on my pros list is because i can swap out batteries um and you can buy multiple batteries batteries are about eight bucks a piece eight or nine dollars on amazon this one does have a viewfinder i didn't mention that as a pro so you do have your viewfinder you got all your stats kind of like right in your face 1920 by 1080 16.9 um what the hell is that 100p oh well okay that's 100 frames a second sv sf is super fine that's your best video quality and then it's 166 um degrees wide is your field of view you can change a field of view, but you're going to lose image. See, there's no image stabilization over here. So I'll just show you real quick. If we change the video resolution down to 1080p 60, and then we go back, you see that little, that's basically, that's your image stabilization symbol right there. So the shaky hand kind of symbol, okay? So 1080p 60 frames a second is max you can get with image stabilization. Anything above that is not going to be stabilized. As far as this one, you can stabilize this video um, up to 2.7K. Let's see, change it to video. 4K 30 does not have, and, it doesn't, and you can't change it that wide. See the W? W stands for wide. So that's all you got, 4K 30 wide, period. You can't do super view at 4K. 
you can't do linear at 4K. Um, so if we change it down a little bit, can't even see that, it just looks like it's blurred out. All right, 2.7K, um, 2.7K, 4.3, uh, 1440, and then 1440, we can do, I believe, 60 frames a second, and we can only do wide, okay? Actually, I didn't even know that. So we set that. <clears throat> Let's go back. Camera settings. 1440. We can change this from 60, 30, 48, 24, 90. Up to 90 and 60. And then we can also change it from wide, linear, and super view. Okay? Um, check. So, now, as far as... so. You can't change it super view, linear, or wide, anything above 1080, which I guess is fine. Somebody might have a problem with that. 960, 720, what does 720 do? 120. So 120 frames a second. Your cell phone does a little bit better than that. Your cell phone is going to, if it's an iPhone anyways, as far as I know, because I have an iPhone, it's going to do 720, 240 frames a second and it's gonna stabilize at all uh, resolutions. So, technically, when it comes to your cell phone, you got the ultimate camera, but you know you do have a bigger sensor in here than you do um, on your cell phone, okay? So, we will check, no, we'll just go back, video, 720, 4K, maxed out between 30 and 24, and then that's it, so 30, can't change it from wide linear only wide is your only option we'll set that and then it turn camera off stabilize video not available at 4k um, go back to camera settings the t5e is dying and I'm pretty sure yeah, it just died but again there's a good example it died but we can put in another battery and continue recording so as far as video quality this this cost me 125 bucks like I said you can get it at 105 right now currently so price wise this wins removable battery this wins built-in quarter-inch tripod mount this wins and of course you have your screen so those are winners uh, the negatives on this are the fact that it needs a big bulky case it is not waterproof but why did I buy this again? I got this on Amazon. All these scratches right here made it a discount. Um, so I got it for about $247, which is still a lot of money, um, I guess, for a little action cam that you're probably not going to use all the time like that. I don't know. But I really wanted it. I loved it when I had it. And it's waterproof straight out the box. It You can have stabilized video up to 2.7K, 30 frames per second. And um, the way it connects to the app is absolutely flawless. You just can't beat it. It's perfect. And um, you can change all the settings right in the app. You have your viewfinder. You can see what you're looking at in the app. It's really quick, really simple. It's not hard. It's not difficult. You don't have to fumble around with anything. And that's it. Waterproof out the box. Uh, Stabilized up to 2.7K. Um, all the information you really need is on the screen. The only thing you're missing is the fact that you can't, you know, obviously line up your shot. But because it's a wide angle camera, you're always going to get the shot pretty much 90% of the time. Unless you're just, you know, you're trying to shoot this thing and you're looking that way. I mean, obviously that's your mistake, right? So that's it, guys. Also, don't forget to um, hit the notification buttons on the, um, when you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you go back and hit those notification, the little bell. So that you actually know when I post a video. So when I post a video, you'll get a notification and I'll show up and you'll watch it and you'll have a better day because you just watched my video. Also, I am moving across the country. I am leaving Boston, Massachusetts, where I've been all my life and I'm moving to Las Vegas and I will be vlogging the whole way there. So it'll be a lot of live videos. Hopefully you guys can be there with me and interact with me and... Um, we're just going to go see the country together, so that's going to be real fun. So like I said, remember to subscribe and um, hit that notification button so you do know when I go live. And um, then we can hang out together and, you know, 
shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. That's it. Peace. I'm out.